beauties and welcome back to the beauty room for those of you that are new my name is christy and i'm obsessed with a lot of things beauty hair makeup everything in between but for today's video it's another empties haul well not empties haul it's an empty video and by what i mean by empties is the products i have gone through so this is the february edition february empties so why don't you beauties get comfortable, get ready, because we're going to dissect all of these. And I'm going to tell you my honest opinion about them. So we'll be right back. All right. So like I said, this is a February empties video. And it's not as much product as January. But I see we have a good, decent amount. And there's some that I did like. Some that could be better. And then some that have been in my everyday rotation. And then some that <laughs> I wish I could find still. Because I did love them. And it's kind of sad to see them go bye-bye. So let's pull the first one out of the bin. And like I said, it's one that I wish I could find because I did finish my Marc Jacobs Daisy Dream Twinkle Fragrance. This one was a limited edition. And if you happen to like the Marc Jacobs fragrances like I do, you know these are released mostly in the spring and it's a different one every year. And this one was one of my absolute favorites. And out of any of the Mark Jacobs ones that have been released before, this, I'm sad I finished. I still have one because I was able to find an extra, an extra one one time when I went on a trip and I was able to go to Duty Free and find it and I bought it. So that one's still in rotation. But I've always tried to not overdo it with this one because I wanted to take care of it so I could make it last longer and like I said she ain't coming back Mark Jacobs can we make Twinkle come back please but she's one of my favorites between this one and Ariana Grande's Moonlight whenever I had like something special these would always be in rotation so I'm kind of sad that she's done I still have the one bottle but that's gonna be my last bottle because she doesn't exist anymore this one might be a little controversial because it's an ogx conditioner it's from the nicole guerrero collab but when i mean controversial controversial blah. <laughs> when i mean controversial it's because of the ingredients in it and I mentioned this on my January haul video, but if you saw like those TikTok videos where they're discussing like certain ingredients in certain hair products, especially shampoos and conditioners that might cause fallout, this one has this, that ingredient. And I didn't know when I saw the video, I was pretty much almost done with this, but I didn't know whether to just finish it out or throw it out. And at the same time, it's a product that you paid money for. So at this I just didn't want to necessarily just say but she does have it. it and if you wonder what that ingredient is is the DMDM I forget exactly what that stands for it's a technical term if you want to google it google it but apparently it causes for your hair to fall out in excessive ways And she has it. I did like the smell of it. The conditioner did, you know, make my hair feel smooth and stuff like that. And I only use conditioner like once a week. Or once every two weeks. Because I don't like to do much for your hair. But after seeing that, it kind of discourages me because I did like OGX products a lot. 
but now I'm more cautious of what ingredients go into the hair products that I buy because like I said we already have it if it isn't stress if it isn't the Rona symptoms left over that make you fall have hair fall out and that you have to worry about ingredients in it and your products it just makes you be more cautious of what you put on your hair. So I was sad about this because I did like it, but I don't want my hair falling out. So, all right, this isn't necessarily beauty products, but it's something that I've been taking and it's been very helpful and trying to keep, you know, trying to be good with everything going on. So it is the emergency gummies, the vitamin C's. These are the orange, tangerine and raspberry ones. These are very sweet, very tasty. Definitely have the orange kick. And you know, it's to help me have energy, have my boost and have my immune system in a good place. So I've been taking these, I've been trying to be good, trying to take better care of my health. So I've been taking those and I do like them. I do like the gummies more because it's easier to take. They taste good. And you won't hear me complaining about taking vitamins. So they were good. And if you're like me that doesn't like taking like huge pills or like nasty tasting medicine, that was a good option to get vitamin C in my system besides orange juice. All right, so we also have a secret deodorant in Rose. It's the 40 Hours Invisible Solid. It's one I always tend to get when I need to buy it. So, you know, finally finished. Throw it in the bucket. It's done. It's one of my favorites. I mean, it's deodorant. I can't. I can't say much. I do like this one compared to the aluminum free, which I've talked about on my TikTok that I absolutely hate the aluminum free. I did like the concept of it, but I just don't like the aluminum free because the smell. The smell it has and the smell it gives you after time progresses that it leaves like a funk. And I'm I was blown away by it, by the, cause you think it was gonna help you, it doesn't. So I went back to using my traditional one because of that. And I wasn't the only one to complain about it because if you look at reviews of the aluminum free, a lot of people complain about the smell. So moving on. So now we have an EOS lotion. It is in the sweet mint. I had this from like another holiday set that had the, the lip balm. I do like to use a little bit of lotion to moisturize because you know it's winter and then you know the hand sanitizer and all that stuff like dries out your hands. A little bit seems fine to use but the only thing I have with these is that they have like a little bit of a residue afterwards and, and you can even see it on, like on the, the bottle like there's always something left and it feels like a little bit greasy on your hands afterwards. Like, I like using a little bit so it doesn't go all that way. But eventually it does turn into this. Like that. If you can see it better. Yeah, you see like that residue. I don't like that part. So I have like mixed feelings with that lotion. It's not my favorite. Because of that. That feeling you have afterwards. And like. And you see like, ugh. Anyways, so it's, I tried it once, I think I'm good, so I know which lotion to not buy the next time. Speaking of lotion, I tried out the Cream Shop Handy Dandy Cream. It is the cocoa butter one. I have to say, the smell on this one is so sweet. I think I can still smell it through here. Yeah, I still smell it. But there's no more product in here. And it felt nice on my hands. I ended up liking these, this one so much that I still had one more from when I did get this. And I feel I love the, the way it leaves your, your skin. It doesn't feel greasy. I use it a little bit because a little bit goes a long way. But I use this one mostly for my hands. So I did like it, and I have another one that I'm using right now, and I think it's the strawberry shortcake one that I currently have in rotation. 
but I do like it. It's a good size to carry around. Not that greasy. Doesn't leave no residue. It's a good one. So let's move on. So now we got the Morphe setting spray. It's the first Morphe setting spray I've actually finished because I didn't, I still have a little bit on the strawberry Jeffree Star one. And there's still a little bit left because I feel like with the, sharp, the strawberry one, after spraying, there's like a weird scent afterwards. Or like as time goes by, the scent gets weird. So I've, I stuck to the original. I like to use this one like on my everyday. Even if it's just like a simple look, I like to use this one. Or if I want to go more extreme, I use this one. I like to keep this one and the Urban Decay spray on uh, my vanity because I feel like they're the ones I work the most and this one's a little more budget conscious in a way it's a little bit cheaper to buy and you can still use coupons at Ulta just letting you know and Morphe but this one's like $16 compared to the Eradicate one that's double the price and it's it's held up pretty good and now that we're in a pandemic that we have to wear masks. I spray it, nothing gets on my mask. So this one's been good and it's got into be higher up on my list of favorites because of that reason that it holds up and it hasn't gotten on my face mask at all. So all right, so now we have the Kylie Skin Vanilla Milk Toner. This one took me a while to finish. And I mean a while. It lasted longer than the face wash, the vitamin C, the face lotion. And I'm trying to think what else was in that original Kylie Skin launch. But it lasted longer. This was probably the only product from the initial set of release that she had that I did like. So there's a, there's a couple more stuff that have come out from Kylie Skin and a couple more that I have tried and I did like. But from the originals, this is the only one I do like and I did use it all the way. It's the only one that I didn't really want to give up on as I was using throughout the process. But she lasts longer than any other product in the whole lineup. But she does smell good and she feels smooth going on the skin so... I had no problem with it. It did help, you know, hydrate a couple areas, but it's not like a super toner. But she did help, and she, I mean, for the amount of money you pay for it and the way that she lasted, not bad. So we also have a lip smacker, lip balm. This one is in vanilla because I do have a whole set that I did get because I like to keep my lips moisturized. It was a set, it was cheap, it was a good, pretty good price. And you know, I've been using them. I've gone through a couple already. So they feel nice and smooth on applying. And I have another one in my bag that I've been carrying around with me because you know, masks do dry up your lips too. So no complaints, it's just a simple lip balm because I've been able to get chopstick, but if I have it, I'm using it and I do like them, so. And they remind me of my childhood. So they they still work for me. Nothing like, ooh, ah, uh, like standing out, but I like them. So I use it and they're helping keep my lips moisturized regardless of the mask. So we got two more empties left, so let's get to them. All right, so we have another Fourth Ray Beauty face milk. Like I mentioned before in one of my other videos, the face milks, if you use the small ones, you can make it last an entire month. And depending how many times you use them, you could probably even make it last a little bit longer than a month. But this one is the papaya face milk. I don't want to be able to show you there. Yeah, papaya. According to the fourth way, papaya face milk is more targeted towards dry skin. And I've been using these and been helpful for my whole skincare routine and the dryness I used to have before. So I like them. They don't feel too... They don't feel oily. They feel nice and moisturizing. And they do t target those key areas that you want to address. Like certain certain face milks address those different problems. 
papaya is supposed to be for the dry skin and it's done a good job for me although you do see some acne spots but that's unrelated to any products because it's mask me and stress so papaya it's one of my favorite ones this is probably like the third or fourth papaya face milk i've gone through not all back to back but it's the ones i have that go specifically targeting those those areas on my face like the dryness and it's helped so she keeps coming in rotation and last but not least is because i found it in my stuff that i forgot i had and it was a gift for purchase i forget for what exactly it was but it is the living proof restore perfecting spray it's kind of like a conditioning detangler spray this one was like half an ounce and i have been using the not your mother's detangling spray for a while now and you know since this is a mini i was like you know what and i found it myself let's try her out let's she's a mini she's gonna have a couple of uses so just to get test out the product too because i've never tried living proof like that and i gotta say she's not bad she does this she has a different smell than the not your mother's but it's not an aggressive thing either and it's not a bad thing is it was an all right fragrance and she did the tangle pretty quick like i would do like a couple sprays and since my hair is getting longer my hair is prone to get tangled A little spritz here a little spritz there grab my brush I start like when I want to detangle I'll spray on the bottom mostly and a little bit on top and I'll start brushing out from the bottom and then work my way up so that way you don't create a mess and that way you don't pull out more hair and you don't break your hair either but this one felt pretty good like it did the job it detangled it it doesn't leave your hair greasy it doesn't leave a bad smell either i did like it i'm going to see if i can find a price for the full size and if it's not too expensive i may try it later on after i finish my not your mother's or i may redeem it with my ulta points whichever one comes first <laughs> so that's all i have for february empties it was a little bit smaller than the previous month but I hope you guys found this a little bit helpful, a little bit more insightful. If you feel like you want to know more about a certain product, you know, you could always ask me and I'll let you know. But if I'm going to give you quick recaps of some of my notes from that pile. These are no. Because of, like I said, one's because of an ingredient in it. And the other one's because of like the residue it was leaving behind. But I am sad about the OGX one. But I hope you guys found this a little bit insightful, a little bit entertaining, a little bit helpful. Like I said, if you want to know more, let me know and I'll be glad to help you guys out or answer any questions that you have about certain products. As always, you could keep up with me on my blog, which I have listed down below in the description. My different social media channels. Besides here on YouTube, you could always hit me up on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, I'm on Twitch. I'm going to try to go live soon. So if you want to follow that, it's going to be listed down below. And there's also the Hive. Well, Hive. Social media. Which I'll have listed down too. So, I have a lot more coming up. I have a lot more in the works. Get prepared, beauties, because it's going to be a couple, a couple of videos come back to back to back. Because we got a couple of different goodies that I want to play with. That I want to share with you guys. And we're going to be a little bit more. I don't want to say playful. But we're going to be more, a little bit more experimental coming up. I look very nice and simple today. Plain Jane. Well, not plain Jane. But I look very simple. Compared to other times. But we got a lot coming up soon. We got a lot in the works. Like I said, we're official. We got the name in the back. <laughs> but there's a lot coming up that I have in the works that I'm preparing for you beauties so stay tuned I have a I'm trying to do different content all across so make sure you check out the Instagram TikTok and everything in between 
and I'll see you beauties next time here in the beauty room. So, if there's anything you want to see in the future, like I said, hit me up in the comments. And I'll see you beauties in the beauty room. Bye beauties.